Hello, how to solve this radical problem? This is square root of n power 3 equals square root of 3 power 3. So we are solving for all values of n that satisfy this equation now. If you have square root of a, this equals a power 1 over 2. So this square root of n power 3 equals n power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2. And this equals 3 power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, if you have a power x raised to the power of y, this equals a power y raised to the power of x. So applying that here, f n power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 equals 3 power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. So remember, if you have a power 1 over 2, this equals square root of 3. So applying that here and here, I have square root of n raised to the power of 3 equals square root of 3 raised to the power of 3. So let's move this over here. So what I'm going to have will be square root of n raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 3 raised to the power of 3, and this equals 0. Now, if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. And right now, a is square root of n, b is square root of 3. Applying this right here, we have square root of n minus square root of 3. That is a minus b times a squared. Square root of n over 2 plus square root of n times square root of 3 plus square root of 3 over 2. And this equals 0. So from here, we have square root of n minus square root of 3 times this cancel this, I have n plus, this multiplies out, we have square root of 3n, plus this cancel this, I have 3, and this equals 0. So from here, I equate each of these to 0, I have square root of n minus square root of 3 equals 0, I have n plus square root of 3n plus 3 equals 0. So let's equate each of these to 0. We have square root of n minus square root of 3 equals 0. So let's solve for n. We move this over here. We have square root of n equals square root of 3. Now, if you have square root of x equals square root of y, this cancels this, meaning x equals y. So right now, this cancels this. I have n equals 3. That is my n1. So, we also have this other one here. We have n plus square root of 3n plus 3 equals 0. I move n over here and 3 over here. So, I have square root of 3n equals negative 3 minus n. So, right now, I can decide to take the squares. I'll put part of this equation. This cancel this of 3n equals negative 3 minus n times negative 3 minus n. We have 3n equals negative 3 times negative 3, that is 9. Negative 3 times negative n plus 3n, this times this. We have plus 3n, this times this. We have plus n squared. So from here we have 3n equals 9 plus 6n plus n squared. So we move this over here. We have 0 equals 9 plus 6n plus n squared minus 3n. So from here, we have 0 equals 9 plus 6n minus 3n plus 3n plus n squared. So let's rearrange this. We have n squared 
plus 3 and plus 9 equals 0. We solve this using the formula method. So we have n equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of a squared minus 4 times ac variable by 2 times a. Our a equals 1, which is the equation of n squared, b equals 3, which is the equation of n, and c equals 9. So from here, we have n equals, this is negative 3, plus a minus square root of b squared, 3 power 2 minus 4 times a, a is 1, times c, that is 9, divided by 2 times a is 1. So from here, up n equals negative 3, plus or minus square root of 3 squared, this is 9, minus this is 36 divided by 2. Of n equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 27 divided by 2. We have n equals negative 3 plus or minus this minus here square root of negative 1 times square root of 27 divided by 2. n equals negative 3 plus or minus this is i. We have i times square root of 27 is 9 times 3 divided by 2. So from here you have m equals negative 3 plus or minus this is square root of 9 times square root of 3 divided by 2. So from here you have n equals this negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9. This is 3 times root 3 divided by 2. So we have n equals 3 over 2 times this is negative 1 plus or minus i. There's i here because there's i here. i root 3. So we have two complex values for n, which are we have 3 over 2 of negative 1 plus i root 3, and 3 over 2 of negative 1 minus i root 3. These are two complex values. We also have one real value for n, which is this one there, which is n equals 3. This is the only real value we have. So guys, that is it. Now you can check if you want to check for the value of n. You can substitute this real value for n or n equals 3. So you have square root of n power 3 equals square root of 3 power 3. If n equals 3, that means you have square root of 3 power 3 equals square root of 3 power 3. And 3 power 3 is 27, so we have square root of 27 equals square root of 27. Left hand side equals right hand side. So that is it. This is how you solve this radical problem step by step.